Experts say they have developed the technology to support Sahi wild cattle breeding in the country because the breed is tolerant to diseases and it can produce both milk and meat even with limited resources. The director of Carlo adds that the breeding work is also focusing on adaptability purposes of the cattle. We are doing the breeding in Naivasha. We tend to leave the animals to move around, trekking in very long distances. And they are selected under such kind of conditions. So when they are actually moved to the pastoral areas for, for breeding and enhancement, actually they have already been selected for such kind of terrain, walking long distances in such of pastures and whatever. And they will still maintain their body conditions. And you, of course you can see from here, the animals are still looking fine, and yet they are moving. Uh, quite produce under this kind of condition. That one does not mean that a farmer should not have some intervention. We also have packages that come with it. Feeding, for example, should be proper feeding. Farmers, we have trained them on conservation for feeds. When it is favorable, they need to do, for example, silage uh, and harvest hay and keep for dry season feeding. Supplementation feeding also can come in quite handy and enhance, for example, fatigue. Then we have other aspects like disease and parasite management. It's an emphasis we make that you must, for example, control ectoparasite if you want to get rid of, for example, tick-borne diseases. Then we are also routine vaccinations. Farmers know this. They need to vaccinate these animals against these kind of diseases. David Kiamongo, a livestock farmer in Kilgore, says the breed is not only expensive on the market but is also on high demand across the country. He is one of the farmers who has joined Kayan Farmers Cooperative Society. The society helps the dairy farmers in Kilgore to market their milk products. Kiamongo further says through the society, farmers are able to achieve best pricing for their products. Similarly, the Cooperative Society advises farmers on a regular basis on the best way of looking after the breed. <laughs> inatosha hiyo shule ile ilikuwa nausa ngombe tatu ndio ito itoshe school ya mtoto mmoja na hii tena sio nyama peke yake sio kuusa ngombe peke yake hata masiwa yake unausa mwisho wa mwezi unaenda tu kama mtu ya mshara unapatiwa sasa hata bila kuuza ngombe bado utasomesha tu watoto wako na bado una, una, unapata chakula Kayan Farmers Cooperative Society Animal Health in Charge Lydia Namo says that for a farmer to start breeding, he or she must have a starting population and from the society normally goes an extra mile of advising and visiting them to see the kind of animals they have. Namo further says the society also sensitizes farmers on breed improvement. On natural mating, we use live breeding bulls and to avoid inbreeding, we normally change our bulls when their daughters or, or offsprings are at the age of serving, that's when we remove the sire and we bring in a new or another sire which has no any line of relativity to the offsprings in the farm. Kayan Farmers Cooperative Society farm manager David Kuya says they are working together with Carlo Naivasha to ensure that they get good genetics that will support the idea of Sahiwal multiplication and breed improvement. He says the cooperative settled on Sahiwal because it's a dual purpose breed of milk and meat. Generally, we do sell our uh, breeding bulls to farmers both uh, nationally and internationally. Kayan do issue 40, uh, 22 uh, breeding bulls to its members on an annual basis. Uh, that is alongside the ones that are uh, due for or earmarked for to be sold to, to the uh, rest of the market. Arnold Masali, Ibru TV.